Market forces. Beauty might be relative. Does that mean anything goes? Practically speaking, no. Consider supply and demand. Okay. So to find and please a mate, it's advantage to have traits whose demand exceeds the supply. Okay. This is why I tell you guys, same thing for you. Okay. All dude, here's the deal. If you are a dude, all you need to do is just get a little jacked. Don't be fat and get a little jacked and you're already like in the literal top 25% of people in America body wise. Do you know that? Do you know if you bench 225 on the bench press, I think you're like in the top 9% of people on the planet strength wise. Do you understand how badass that is? I could press 225. Let me tell you something. I'm a real man. Okay. Don't you dare insult me by even asking if I could press 225. Okay. We'll start this conversation off correct here. Um, but when you look good, muscular wise, guys, muscles, okay. You sl slapping muscles on a man is like slapping fake tits on a chick. Okay. Muscles are our fake tits. And every guy here, you can go out and get yourself a pair of fake tits in six months, six months. And you can have a pair of tits, you know, you can get pretty jacked and looking good. Right. And then you have half of your foot in the door in order to open your path to fucking womanizing mate raymond says we have to earn our fake tits. yes just people's in the house the one of the most jack fucking dudes my my bodybuilding hero who when he tells me i'm doing a good job on instagram I'm like this guy this guy me this is this is a valuable comment because this guy looks like a fucking superhero um yes exactly rollo's in the house what's up rollo uh he says jacked and juicy a as af um, but yeah, you know, this is our advantage as men. Okay. Uh, that, and we can still be sexy when we get older. Like I'm still a very good looking man. I'm 36. Women can't really say that. Like I'm 36 and I'm hot. Like, no, you're kind of not. Cause you're 36, you know, majority, the average, the average American woman, you know, at 36 is just like wildebeest status. Am I wrong? <laughs> I've seen them. I've, I have access to Facebook, you know? Hmm. So, anyway. So, men, we are the judges of beauty, okay? I know I kind of went on a circular rant there, but that was fun. Um, But, yeah, dude, I tell you, just all you got to do is just be above average, mate. Just be above average. You know, I'm telling you, girls, when they, when they feel the muscles on you, okay? Listen, the, first of all, I think a lot of guys misrepresent how much actual muscle you need to be impressed to impress a girl because girls really are impressed by having just basically larger muscles than them, right? If you're still a pipsqueak, you know, you got to go to the gym, get things going. But um, a big part of, you know, the consistency in the gym is being able to just, you know, know that when I, for me at least, I know when I get more jacked, I'm going to get more women. That's just, it's just, that happens like clockwork for me. Like when I'm getting in shape and I'm getting more healthy, I'm more virile, first of all. Second of all, I'm like in better mood. I'm like more elevated feelings and more elevated emotions. So like I'm more happy, I'm more charming, and I look sexier. It's just like, it's nonstop benefits. So if you're not lifting weights, I don't know what you guys are doing, okay? <clears throat> Anyways, here we go. For example, there are more men who prefer a small waist than they are women who have one. So women with small waist have a relatively easy time finding a mate. In contrast, only a few men prefer obese women. Yikes, I know, right? There are far more obese women than there are men who prefer them, so they have a hard time finding a mate, a.k.a. literally more than 50% of America. Wait, no. O obese women in America, I think, is what, 39%? Can we get a chat? Can we get a chat check on that? I'm pretty sure it's 39% of American women are obese. 39%. That is basically 40%. So four out of 10 women in America are obese. Is this, is this reality? Four out of 10 are obese. Obese. I, I really want to, I might, if I don't get a number from the chat, I got I to gotta see here. I'm going to have to do some detective work on myself here. Yikes, man. 41.9%.
Yikes, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh, retard alert. Keep on drinking those Starbucks, baby. You're going to lose weight. I, I swear. Just make sure you get low-fat milk and that venti caramel frappuccino. That, that's, that's, that's going to be a big game changer there. Oh, man, America. I'm so glad I got the fuck out of there, boys. <laughs> mm. Man, oh, man, 41.9%. That is insane. Wow. You see, and the biggest problem with the, the dating place in the West is fat women. Fat women are the inflation, okay? Fat women are the quantitative easing of the, the SM, uh, SMV, okay? Or excuse me, SMP, sexual marketplace. Um, because fat women, by making themselves like opposite of attractive, but actually becoming unattractive, right? A girl that is already like moderately unattractive becomes more attractive just because this girl has lowered the bar for everybody else by weighing 450 pounds, you know? Ah, oh, fat women, the inflation of the SMP. Yikes, man. And that's why really girl, like a girl who's a six, now is a seven. A girl who's a seven, now she's an eight. A girl that's an eight, now she's a nine. A girl that's nine, she thinks she's a 10. And then they all walk around with inflated egos and dudes are simps. I mean, it's a perfect, uh, it's a, it's the perfect recipe. I got to say, I think the Russians did it. Inflation of SMV. <laughs> oh, man. Women, fat women. Ancient auction um, a marriage auction in ancient babylon i would like to go to one of those get to buy a wife that would be great that'd be great it looks like we got a super chat coming in 499 from francisco calvillo he says golem uh golem city here in san antonio texas yeah texas is fat man texas is fat i i went to uh, my personal trainer today guys full disclosure and i confessed my leg day sins to him and he says we shall we shall we shall heal you of your chicken legness. So I'm gonna be looking good for the CME. All right. I'm fighting everyone at the CME except for Ed Lattimore. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking good at the CME boys. You guys I hope to see you guys donate a hundred dollars right now. There's a donation. You're a beta male, you're a cuck, you're a blue pill for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and that's someone steal. So funny. He says I told a fat female pastor to fast. Oh, Christians in their fasting diets. I'm doing the David fast. <laughs> I'm doing the Daniel fast. Only vegetables. Oh, that's funny. Uh, let's go back to the article. Some people dislike the idea of understanding beauty in terms of supply and demand. They find it too cold, but consider the alternatives. If we pretend a, a beauty is object, objective, we can't explain the variation in taste. And if we pretend everyone is equally beautiful, which they're not, we can't explain why some looks are valued more than others, right? Yeah, seriously. The economic approach is the only one that accurately captures what we all observe. Right, exactly. While polls aren't particularly reliable, right, because they can lie, the poll below gives a reasonable estimate of demand. The added black lines indicate approximate supply. The most advantaged traits are the ones with the biggest gap between these two. Okay, let me see if we can open this image in a new tab. What is this now? Okay. View proposals. Favorite figure with or other restriction on body type. Okay. So the Apple figure, okay. So you have the figure that's uh, big up top and small at the bottom. This was 10% of people on this poll appreciated this. Hourglass looks like 64.5 want the hourglass. Pear Bell, that's when she has bigger hips and smaller tits. Ah, not my fault, not me. 17.6. Straight is 9%. Uh, thin, wait, no. Yeah, thin is 21. A uh, full figured is 42%. And then big, beautiful is 12.5. Wow, that's pretty high. Uh, slender, little to no stomach protrusion, 26.4. Breasts, oversized for frame, 43%. I'm in that category. Bubble butt, 38%. So tits win again. Interesting. Interesting. You guys don't donate $100 right now. Thanks you're for a that. Beta 499. Male, you're a cuck. You're a blue pill for life. You better send me $1,000 in donation mm. right now. <laughs> and, and that's. Ah. Uh, 
I got to say, this is great. It's almond milk with those little ice cube espresso things. I put two in there. I thought I would have to put one. It's beautiful. Uh, Pistol P, 499 Super Chat. I think women find the discipline of building and maintaining a good physique sexier than the actual physique. Discipline drops panties. No, they're not that smart. I think they, they, they just like the body. They just like the body. They don't really think about too much. Dude, these girls have no, the average person has no idea how hard it is for a man to build an amazing body. Even if you take steroids, even if you take a fucking shitload of steroids, right? Man, the eating, the exercising, the sleeping, the blood donation, the blood work, okay? Mate, it is so, so, so hard to do. But these chicks don't realize that, man. They don't know. They think you, like, just eat, they're like, he just eats, he just eats steak, you know? Yeah, the eating is the, actually is the hardest. It is. Hmm. <clears throat> I got my personal trainer. I'm getting, dude, I'm going to be looking great for CME in Miami. I'm telling you, I'm telling all you dudes out there, if you come into the CME or Hot Dude Con in Miami, it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Can't wait to meet George Bruno. I'm going to shake his hand really hard. <laughs> uh, according to the poll, <clears throat> the most uh, advantageous of straights is hourglass figure, thin, uh, oversized breasts, bubble butt, and then here he says, once again, this matches the beauty examples we've given above. Right. And this says, man, it's pretty easy to, to figure out what we like. You know what I mean? Way better. <clears throat> so uh, let's go back here. But the variety evident in the poll, but the variety evident, I think that means evidence, but the variety evidence in the poll also indicates that there's more than one way to be attractive. It's not necessary to conform to the majority taste to succeed, okay? In fact, appearance desired by the, lum the largest number of men isn't always the most advantageous. It's counterintuitive, but some women can have the most success with rare looks. The majority of men dislike. In this case, it's actually good to be weird. It's skeptical. The mathematical illustration below shows one way this can happen. Okay, so phenotype. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. When the supply and demand for a degree of a given trait, eye size, fits normal curves with the different means, it's best to overshoot the demand mean unless the demand curve has a much smaller standard deviation. Okay, well, all of these, they're all the same there. Uh, the esoteric beauty tip is for brainy girls only. Don't we? <clears throat> I just think, I think this also can just show you how Guys, really, we don't want, like, like an ultra, ultra, I mean, ultra, ultra on the extreme. You know what I mean? Like, pretty much the middle is good to go. 